नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते एवरीबडी वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन सो वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट द एक्टिविटीज विद इन द सेल्फ so this imagination that is going on within us what we refer to as the b2 block the lower activities the activities of imaging that is the desire which is associated with the feeling the activity of thinking analyzing comparing things thought and the activities of selecting tasting or expecting something from the outside or to do with the outside the expectation and these three the desire or the feeling the thought and expectation together being referred to as the imagination <coughs> and we said that this imagination may be motivated by various sources we we can see this within ourselves that whenever we are thinking something feeling something it could be motivated by something from outside what we have heard what we have accepted what we have um read somewhere or what we have gathered from our past experience and so on which forms our preconditioning it could also be motivated by sensation something to do with our experience of the outside through the sense organs of the body like for example taste so when we eat tasty food we may have finished eating or we may not have yet eaten but we may be thinking about the taste of a certain food and therefore our imagination may be driven by that our imagination may be driven by a certain preconditioning a belief that we may have a third source of motivation for the imagination is our natural acceptance this higher dimension within us the so you can refer to it as the pure part within you or the conscience this is something which is there in all of us and when we refer to it we get some answers from there so our imagination may also be motivated by that but as we were discussing largely we find that at least to begin with our imagination is largely driven by preconditioning and sensation and a very small part is being motivated by natural acceptance and this is because as you can see in the chart before you that we begin with the lower activities within the cell the higher activities that potential to see them to access them is there but to begin with we don't seem to be able to access them to see them that is the deeper dimension within us the deeper activities within us which we also sometimes refer to as the b1 block but that potential is there in all of us to be able to have access to them to see them to a guidance from these higher activities so till that happens 
often we are looking outside and therefore preconditioning or belief from outside or sensations which are which is our experience again of the outside through the body we rely on those and our imagination is largely driven by those but as we keep referring to our natural acceptance we can have more and more access to these higher activities within us so we had been discussing this and um yesterday we talked about this and we had decided to do a task for self reflecting that we were to observe our activities and try to see the desire or feeling at the base of the activities and then check if we are referring to our natural acceptance or if we are largely basing our desires or feelings on preconditionings or on sensation even if we can see that our imagination is being driven either by natural acceptance or imagine or, or preconditioning or sensation then if we are able to see how much of the imagination is being motivated by the natural acceptance that would be important thing to be able to see within each one of us yes so most people are able to see this that something is going on and it's going on all the time if we are not able to see this it's okay sometimes it may take some time so for those of us who are not able to see this imagination it may be worthwhile to take 10 minutes time and at a time when you are not busy doing other things when you are not busy with thoughts of having to go to work and all of that today is a good date for that because today is sunday so you can sit down for 10 minutes at some point when you are not busy and there are not likely to be too many distractions from outside and close your eyes and try to see what is going on inside and the first time you sit down to do it you may not be able to observe but as you do this practice every day 10 minutes 15 minutes if you can spare more time 20 minutes half an hour or you can do it in bits of 10 10 minutes twice a day try to observe this that something is going on in the imagination because ultimately that will be that is necessary to see what the activities are within us so we spend lot of time observing the outside or seeing what is happening outside but a lot of times we don't pay attention to what is happening inside us so if we try to you know pay attention inside slowly we will find we can see many things inside also we can see these activities going on within us so this you know what we are seeing within the activities within the desire the desire that you have is about being something isn't it and it seems to come up as a picture within being referred to as imaging it's like an image that forms within you and you may see lot of images and it seems to be like a movie lots of images are coming and going and 
you pay attention to the thoughts and you start seeing many 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 thoughts in all different directions sometimes one moment we may be thinking about this session and what is being said the next moment we may be thinking about one of our family members who is away say a child who is in the hospital or um some relatives who are far away maybe in another country and so on so or we may be thinking about something of the past when we were a small child and so this imagination keeps going on in all different directions and we may not be aware of it so now what we'll be doing in the sessions to come in the days to come is to be observing this these activities within ourselves seeing our desire our feeling seeing the thoughts how we analyze things how we compare things seeing the expectation when we have to deal with the world outside so for that we tend to use this activity within us of expecting something so the des- desire has to do with the feeling you want to be something and this is associated with feeling like we can all see that at the root what we want is that we want to be happy <coughs> how to be happy depending on a belief or sometimes you know if we associate it with our with the sensation through the body then that how to be happy or how to get to that that part we try to see through the thought we analyze many things we think about many things we compare many things for instance if i think that i will be happy if i eat a sweet early morning we may not be able to relate to that but if you think about it lot of times you may be just walking past you know walking in the market and you actually went for something else and then you see the sweet shop and you start thinking about i wanted to um you you sort of want to eat this sweet now and you start thinking about things like do i have the money for it did i bring the money um or time of day is it that sweet may be old or would they have made fresh by now shall i eat it shall i not eat it what shall i um what kind of sweets will be there so many things may be there so you will find that one is that actually you want it to be happy but when you don't see any anything inside you for that happiness you may be looking outside so really speaking if we don't see this within us then we you know our desire is almost like an expectation expectation from the outside that something from outside will make me happy so with that um desire we start thinking about how to get to it and so we compare many things we think about it like i said you know you might be thinking about do i have enough money 
oh but that's okay i have my phone these days we can use paytm and so many thoughts may be there regarding all this then you get to the shop now what sweet to have this um you know if you look at the expectation part you are constantly doing some selecting and tasting which means like for instance you look at the various sweets over there and some of them you can identify as something you have eaten before some things may look new and a lot of times you may think okay this is tried and tested and i have i know what this sweet tastes like and i like that so you have that taste in you from before you can recall that taste within you from before and on the basis of that you may select something based on that taste that you like to certain taste and so you select that and then you instruct the body and you go out and you speak to the person and you pay for it and instruct the body to eat it and so on so what you will see here is two columns the dynamic activity and the state activity in the p2 block which we tend to use or those are the activities that are constantly going on when we see within so state activity is what is there within you and on the basis of this you make some choices that is your dynamic activity so it keeps you know you recall something and on the basis of that you select something or you choose to do something you know you decide something within you so like we said for the expectation you have the taste within you from before you are able to recall that and on the basis of that taste now you select something similarly in the thought process you may have many options like you can pay by cash you can pay by paytm or google pay or something like that using the phone um or you know some other um, make maybe a credit card or uh, earlier days i don't know how much now anybody is using checks but could be checks and so on so you are comparing many things within you and then you are thinking okay since i don't have cash i can use paytm and all of this so now you're comparing and analyzing which one you know would be better to use and so on so all of this activity is going on within us and we may not be aware of it just imagine how much you know if you uh, you know somebody has mentioned that there are and an, on an average a person has 30 to 60 thousand thoughts per day so just imagine how much of this are we aware of we may not even realize what we are thinking what we are feeling what we are constantly expecting so once we become aware of these activities then we can consciously direct them where we want rather than the activities driving us without our awareness so we have some hands raised we can 
Yes, G. Uh, Srinivas ji. Uh, namaste, Didi. Namaste to all. Uh, my observations are concerned. Uh, I could uh, uh, make my thought process uh, uh, slow. Means uh, less thoughts I could generate slowly. <laughs> but uh, one thing I have observed is that when I uh, come to the face the people with uh, having uh, opposing tendency. Uh, my, I, uh, more opposing tendency developed in me. If I uh, face the people with uh, uh, cordial and uh, cooperative tendency, then my uh, feelings are and are my uh, uh, thoughts uh, are, uh, I could generate thoughts uh, having more uh, cooperative tendency and more positive way. So even though I know that uh, it is not uh, uh, naturally acceptable, and I thought that I should not uh, have that much opposing tendency, even then, unknowingly, uh, more opposing tendency because of, I think, uh, uh, past imprints with the people uh, when I uh, mingle with the people and face with the people like uh, opposing tendency previously, those imprints uh, influence me a lot. Uh, so because of that, and even I really want to uh, be in a uh, uh, thoughts or uh, expectations or anything uh, naturally acceptable. I want that, but I am unable to uh, um, myself uh, uh, have a have such a naturally acceptable tendency in those situations. So yes. how yes. come out from that? Uh, okay. Yeah, nice, very nice. So we'll observe that you know many thoughts may be going on, but what we really you know something that is bothering us, we pay attention to that. So, like you're mentioning that, um, you know, thoughts which you can see that you don't want to have these thoughts, but you can also see that they are there, isn't it? Like yes. You're mentioning. yes. So, you will find that many thoughts may be going on, but we tend to pay attention to those that are disturbing us the most. Yeah. And there may be other thoughts also in the background. So there's nothing wrong with the thoughts. See, this activity is there within us. So we will be thinking something. Yeah. So problem is not so much with the thoughts, but problem is with those thoughts which are not, un not in line with our natural acceptance. Yes, yes. They are most disturbing, so they, they become, you know, the source of, we think that now how to get rid of these thoughts, isn't it? Yes, so like yes. thinking that you know that this is not naturally acceptable and you know that this is making you unhappy uh, and within, and yet we don't know how it's happening. It seems to be coming automatically, isn't it? Yes. Like you said. Yes, yes. So you will find as we go further when we do the exercises that all these you know, our thoughts are being driven by our feeling, which is more yes. subtle than the thoughts. Yes. And like you mentioned, that what you observed, that when you are, um, you, you see somebody, you remember the past interaction with them. You will notice this. Many of us may be able to notice this, that you may have had some interaction with some person two days back, one week back, sometimes even months back or years back. And you think that it's all forgotten and gone. Yes. But today when you see that person, the moment you see that person, you have a feeling of opposition within you. Yes. So now even though you think that I should go and do namaste and I should talk to this person, but somewhere 
you don't want to do it because you have this feeling of opposition so now this feeling of opposition will dominate over the thoughts and now you start thinking let's move to the other side let's not look at that person let's not have to deal with this person because last time he did this isn't it it happens doesn't it yeah i even when uh, i forget uh, last uh, past uh, uh, last time whatever happened but uh, because of response given currently by the people when i uh, come across uh, then immediately i could uh, recollect all the past uh, 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 actions <laughs> yes <laughs> yes so this this keeps happening so that's why it is important to see the feeling Yes. At the base of the thought, then we find that even the feeling is being driven by something deeper, our acceptance about the people, isn't it? Yes, yes, and so on. So ultimately, we have to work with our natural acceptance. Yeah, that is the highest activity within us. that is that pure part within us so yeah. we will find that when we refer to that pure part within us then we are able to guide our feeling on the basis of that pure part so yes. like for instance even though i see somebody that cheated me or um did some you know acted in a way which was not nice with me and i am having this feeling of opposition when i see that person now if i refer to my natural acceptance at this time and say what is naturally acceptable to me yes. feeling of opposition or feeling of relationship yes then i can see that no no feeling of relationship is what is naturally acceptable to me yes so i can actually have at that time a feeling of relationship and when we come to the exercises we'll do this step by step and with that feeling of relationship now my thoughts start going in that direction yes and then my expectation and everything and my behavior everything starts following that feeling yes. so we'll be doing that in detail of course in depth and that's why it is so important to be able to see this the thoughts the feelings that are there within us because ultimately this is driving our behavior outside yes and we are not aware of it but very yes. nice observation that you could see this and um many people have shared similar instances so we'll just keep looking observing at this time and referring trying to refer to our natural acceptance the more times we keep referring to the natural acceptance yeah slowly these higher activities within us will start opening up like now they are it's like a cloud over them we can't see them the higher activities yes. but as we keep referring to the natural acceptance that glimpse that we are getting of the highest activity within us Yes. the more yes. and more times we refer to it the faster this uh, you know the higher activities will be able to see them yes and access them so that is the path that is the way to go so that's why we start with seeing the imagination start with seeing the thoughts the feeling and yes. then we start referring to the natural acceptance so it's a slow process Yes. but it does work and many people have shared their um you know uh experiences with this yes so when we do the exercises we'll do more detail about yeah. that one more one more uh, in the uh, yeah. very few few situations when people are in very much uh, trouble or difficulties they are in that situation i could forget uh, the past imprints and uh, i can uh, uh, be uh, very comfortable and uh, uh, in a position to help them 
but uh, mm. pe people are uh, having uh, normal uh, situations and they are opposing in that uh, situation i my opposing tendency also i agree with you so somewhere i may have decided within myself that people should behave nicely yeah and they should not do this and i have sort of decided this that now if they behave like this then i am going to be unhappy because my happiness is linked with that now i see it like this isn't it yes sir yes, as yes. i keep referring to the natural acceptance and the more and more i refer to the natural acceptance the more yeah. i try to have the feeling that is naturally acceptable to me yeah. as i keep doing this process i will find that when i have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me yeah. then i feel happy i feel calm i am comfortable yes. yes even though this other person may have misbehaved even now so that possibility is there we can keep it open but we can start with at least the ones that you know are slightly disturbing we can try to see what is our natural acceptance and see can we have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to us and then go from there yes yes that's it thank you very much thank you thank you yes anybody else would like to share anything चामी जी गुड मॉर्निंग मैडम गुड मॉर्निंग बट थिंकिंग रिवील्स मी दैट वी शुड नॉट लुक इन टू द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ अदर्स वी डोंट वांट हैव दैट फीलिंग वी नीड टू सी एवरीवन विद द सेम फीलिंग देन ओनली वी दैट वी डोंट दैट देन ओनली वी डोंट गेट एनी इमेजिनेशन ऑफ अदर्स that means for everyone i have to look at the, the same thing looking uh, uh, seeing first time only then i don't have any feelings for them see you will have some feeling or the other isn't it if you observe no, there is all it is existing already mm-hmm. but to have with everyone the same feeling then i need to see that there, i am seeing first time only then we don't have any previous feelings so you're saying i think what you're saying is to have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to you oh yes yes yeah yeah yes true so a lot of times we find that what what you just said that you know it's as if you are seeing that person meeting that person for the first time yes if you have that if you go with that uh, you know without the preconditioning from the past then you may be able to see that you know what is natural for you what you are most comfortable is with the feeling that is naturally acceptable to you and so you can have that but um i guess it's easy to say that but then a lot of times when we are not aware of this then we again get driven by you know our previous acceptances Our past experiences, our beliefs, and so on, isn't it? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Yes. It's happening continuously. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that's why the importance of trying to see, look within, and seeing these thoughts, these feelings, because they are driving our behavior. Isn't it? Yes, madam. Yes, yes. And you will notice this that you know, your feeling keeps changing. moment to moment one moment you seem to have a feeling that is naturally acceptable next moment you saw somebody or something now you have a feeling of opposition which is not yes, naturally yes. acceptable yes yes man yes i am walking on the road and i see somebody who throws some trash on the road now i am getting irritated why people can't be so so you know why they are so uncivilized or why they can't be 
take care of their trash and there are dustbins. Why do they have to throw on the road? You see, we keep doing this. Yes, ma'am. This is, this is major problem, ma'am. We do continuously with that. <laughs> One problem is that the person is throwing trash outside. The other problem is we have all this trash inside, which we are not seeing. Now it is my problem, isn't it? That I am having all this feeling of opposition for that person. What he did, okay, that may not have been right. But now I am making myself unhappy with that. Isn't it? Now it is yes, my problem within me. So the outside problem we may be able to solve if we can help that other person understand. But before that, I need to resolve this problem within myself of having this disturbance. Because if I go and try to tell him something with this disturbance within me, then um, what is going to be the outcome? I will shout at him, the other person will shout back and end of story, then we are not able to resolve anything. There will be an argument and uh, maybe, you know, we will be able to put that time, pick up that trash and put it in the dustbin. But we continue with that feeling. We may be doing other activities after that and we still continue with that disturbance within. See all people, why they are so uncivil, why you look in this country, look in that country, they have fines over there, that's how it works. And our country also, we should have fine and people don't understand and uh, so much may be going on within us. Even though that person is gone, even though we have picked up the trash and put it in the dustbin, but all this is going on within us. So the problem is continuing within me. So it's important to be able to see our thoughts, our feelings, and see, you know, if they are naturally acceptable to us. We'll do that in more detail when we are doing the exercise. Okay. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. Thank you. Rupalim ji. Uh, good morning, Didi. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Didi, in the recent times... Uh... Um, we can go to the next slide. Yes. So, with that constant, you know, referring to our natural acceptance, slowly we can start becoming aware of the higher activities within us. Activities of contemplating, understanding, and the highest activity, the realization within. So even this activity of realization, it is called realization because we realize things, the reality, the way it is. Right now, we may have assumed many things. We don't have to create anything new. We just have to be able to see things as they are without our preconditionings, our acceptances from before. So, um, these activities, you know, the contemplation, when we talk of contemplation, it has to do with seeing the relationship, seeing our relationship with others and seeing our role in the relationship, our participation in the larger order. What is my role? What can I do to help resolve the things? I will find some way. If I can see my relationship with all, I will find some way. If I see my relationship with some, but not with the other, now there is a problem. Because I am seeing my relationship with one and I am not seeing my relationship with the other, then my participation, my role, I am not able to see it clearly. So then it's like a 
stand still over there, cannot go forward. So as we keep contemplating, this opens up more for us. We are able to see our role better. Okay. We can see our participation better. We can see our relationship with all others. Further then, we are also able to pay attention to and understand what is there in the nature, this whole, the harmony that is there, an understanding of that. And ultimately, with that activity of realization, we are able to see the coexistence that is already there among all the units of which we are a part. And that means we are also able to see that subtlest reality of space, which is the underlying thread or the underlying base for all of these. So, of course, it is a long route and we may not be able to see this, but it begins with trying to see first our imagination and then referring to that glimpse that we have, the natural acceptance. So, for today, what we'll try to do is, as an um, um, assignment, we'll try to see our participation, if we can see our participation in our activities with others, can we see the relationship with all others or are we seeing a relationship with some but not with others? So this if we can pay attention to today and we'll take your observations tomorrow, I'll also write it in the chat.